In today's video, I'm going to explain to you the difference between permutation for n different objects taking r objects in a circle and permutation of objects in a circle where clockwise and anti-clockwise arrangements are the same. Let's look at this formula. The number of permutations for n different objects, which are unidentical, taking r objects each time and arranged in a circle is given by npr over r. Remember to memorize this formula if it involves unidentical objects whereby the sequence matters. Let's look at this example. Four letters from the word Bertua needs to be arranged in a circle. How many ways to do this? Let's look at the keywords. So we have four letters, we have Bertua and we have circle. So let's count how many letters in the word Bertua. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which means that N is equal to seven. And then four letters means R is equals to four. So for this, we're going to use the formula NPR over R, which is equals to seven P four over four. And seven P four, when you use the calculator, is equals to 840. And over four, which is equals to 210. And that's the answer. What formula should we use if it involves permutation of objects in a circle where clockwise and anti-clockwise arrangements are the same? Let's look at this formula. The number of permutations for n different objects taking r objects each time and arranged in a circle where clockwise and anti-clockwise arrangements are the same. And we use this formula npr over 2r. For example, like beads, bracelet, or chain. So these are the keywords that we have to look in the question. If it involves these words, then we use this formula NPR over 2R. Let's look at this example. Nadia bought 12 bits of different colors from Handicraft Market in Kota Kinabalu and she intends to make a bracelet. So Nadia realizes that the bracelet requires only 8 bits. How many ways are there to make the bracelet? So here the keywords are bracelet, bits. So we know that bracelet is in circle form and this one is beads. So beads, whether it's clockwise or anti-clockwise, they are the same. So it doesn't matter. So for this, we're going to use the formula, which is NPR over 2R. Okay, let's look at the question again. 12 beads of different colors means N is equal to 12 and then requires only 8 beads, which means that R is equal to 8. So we're going to sub it into the formula, which is 12P8 over 2 times r is 8. So 2 times r, okay, 2 times 8. So equals to, so 12p8, we can use the calculator, and then over 16. And the answer is 1,247,400. And this is the answer.